the sun is shining and the air is warm today. I hear birds chirping and some children playing in a yard a couple of houses over. And I think somebody is mowing their lawn. I know it's still spring, but all of this makes me think that summer is so close. And that makes me think of summer poetry, especially poetry written by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Today, I want to read three of his poems and tell you a little bit about him. I will be reading from the complete poems of Paul Lawrence Dunbar, which is available on Project Gutenberg. This is Paul Lawrence Dunbar. And the first poem of his that I would like to read to you is called A Boy's Summer Song. Tis fine to play in the fragrant hay and romp on the golden load, to ride old Jack to the barn and back, or tramp by a shady road, to pause and drink at a mossy brink. Ah, that is the best of joy. And so I say, on a summer's day, what's so fine as being a boy? <laughs> With lion and hook by a babbling brook, the fisherman's sport we ply, and list the song of the feathered throng that flit in the branches nigh. At last we strip for a quiet dip. Ah, that is the best of joy. For this I say, on a summer's day, what's so fine as being a boy? Ha <laughs> ha! Paul Lawrence Dunbar was born in 1872 in Dayton, Ohio. His parents were Matilda and Joshua Dunbar. His father, Joshua, escaped slavery in Kentucky and joined the Union Army before the Civil War ended. Paul's mother, Matilda, was emancipated from slavery and moved to Ohio. Paul was only 33 years old when he died in 1906. He had tuberculosis, which we didn't have a cure for back then. But in his short life, he wrote 13 books of poetry. He wrote short stories and novels and lyrics for music and a musical. The musical he wrote with Will Marion Cook and Jesse A. Shipp was the first musical ever written and performed entirely by African Americans. It premiered on Broadway in 1903. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was friends with Frederick Douglass, with Wilbur and Orville Wright, with Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and he married Alice Ruth Moore, another famous writer and poet from the Harlem Renaissance. He wrote this next poem about summer for her. It's called A Song. On a summer's day, as I sat by a stream, a dainty maid came by. And she blessed my sight like a rosy dream and left me there to sigh, to sigh, and left me there to sigh, to sigh. On another day, as I sat by the stream, the maiden paused a while. Then I made me bold as I told my dream. She heard it with a smile, a smile. She heard it with a smile, a smile. Oh, the months have fled, and the autumn's red, the maid no more goes by, for my dream came true, and the maid I wed, and now no more I sigh, I sigh, and now no more I sigh. If you want to know more about Paul Lawrence Dunbar and read some more of his poems, there is a book for middle grades called Jump Back Paul. It was written by Sally Derby and illustrated by Sean Qualls. Sean Qualls also illustrated some of my favorite picture books, including Skit, Scat, Raggedy Cat, Ella Fitzgerald, which is by Roxanne Orgill, Before John Was a Jazz Giant by Carol Boston Weatherford, and Lullaby, which was a poem written by Langston Hughes. Let's read one more poem by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. It's called On the River. The sun is low, 
The waters flow, my boat is dancing to and fro. The eve is still, yet from the hill the killdeer echoes loud and shrill. The paddles plash, the wavelets dash. We see the summer lightning flash. While now and then, in marsh and fen, too muddy for the feet of men, where neither bird nor beast has stirred, the spotted bullfrog's croak is heard. The wind is high, the grasses sigh. The sluggish stream goes sobbing by. And far away, the dying day has cast its last effulgent ray. While on the land the shadows stand, proclaiming that the eve's at hand. Effulgent means shining brightly or full of goodness. I think the poetry of Paul Lawrence Dunbar is effulgent. What do you think? <laughs>